Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever been on a FaceTime call and felt like you had to choose between looking at the person on your screen or looking at the camera to make it seem like you're making eye contact? It can feel a little awkward, especially if you're on an important call with friends, family, or a work meeting. Well, Apple actually has a built-in feature that fixes this problem, and most don't even know about it. Today, I'll show you how to enable this feature so you always appear to be making direct eye contact, even when you're looking at your screen. So let's get into it. All right, so here's how to enable FaceTime eye contact in iOS 18. This is a simple setting that you can turn on in just a few seconds. So let's start off by navigating to settings. Here, scroll all the way down until you see apps. And then here, find FaceTime. Scroll all the way down until you see eye contact and enable it. And that's it. Now, whenever you're on a FaceTime call, your iPhone will subtly adjust your gaze, making it appear as if you're looking directly at the other person, even if your eyes are focused on the screen. So how does eye contact work? Well, Apple uses machine learning and AR, augment reality, to slightly adjust your eyes in real time. It's not drastic or unnatural change, just a subtle correction to make FaceTime calls feel, well, more personal and engaging. The goal is to mimic real life experience of eye contact so the conversation feels more natural. Is this feature worth using? Well, for casual FaceTime calls with friends and family, you might not notice a huge difference, but if you take a lot of video calls, especially for work meetings, interviews, or professional conversation, this feature can make you look more engaged and present. It's a small tweak, but one that makes a big difference in how your FaceTime calls feel. So try it out and let me know what you think did the person you were talking to even notice the difference? Does it make FaceTime calls feel more natural? If this tip helped you, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss more iPhone tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.